Hi, so I got 12th on the so far biggest German extravaganza with over 200 people and I played Phantom Knight with Paradise Smasher. Yeah, <laughs> and I'll show you the, the profile and after it like the quick combo where you end on Artifact Scythe, Dragoon, Bardish and the Fog Plate. So I played triple Phantom Knight. I mean it's quite the best, it's a combo starter. You always want to see either this or this as normal summon. Um, then 42 guides targets, there are just one Graph of us and one Seer for the Cherubini combo. And all the other monsters are except for those three PKs. Those are also for the combo and for the engine. Um, extenders. So three junk forwards as level three extender was quite good, I would say. Just generic level three. Then two wheel leader and two tracker. Also very consistent. And two werewolf could be replaced against any other level three extender, but um, I mean he did what he, he does, so <laughs> it's just a generic extender also. Then two dangerous sometimes they collide with um, the the dragoon engine, but in most cases they're the most versatile because they give you a free draw. Yeah. And the one scythe for the combo and also the two dragoon targets. So now for the spells, starting with the free dark room no more. So as you saw, uh, uh, didn't run any hand trap. So I need to play at least the dark rulers. But if you go second, it's it's okay. I mean, if you play against Dragonling and you go second, yeah, you need to have Dark Ruler. If it's any other deck, then you can, yeah, just start to do start to do your plays. And there are so many extenders. So after you got through all your resources, you end with in most cases with Dragoon and put the field and also win. But yeah, if you got Dark Ruler, it's surely more easy. And the free pot of prosperity to make sure you add one of your combo starters and of course the free astral force rank up magic yeah this is the spice <laughs> I created this together with Yannis and you, you just need two generic level threes doesn't matter which one then you go into the Mega Crypt Engineer and do the rank up into the Paradise Smasher. He says, you and your opponent, you both roll two dices and the one with the higher results can't activate monster effects and can't attack until the end of this next turn. So it's basically an auto win option against Dragon Link, against Shadow Invoked, against Pure Shadow, against Invoked, and yeah, against Dino, of course, uh, against from tier 1 to 3 decks, against 90% of the decks if you resolve this. Um, and the second effect is if he has Exceed Material, which he has when he activates this, you can change one of the wrestles of one dice from your opponent or from yourself to 7. So there's a very, 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 very small chance that you lose the, um, or you win, respectively, the dice roll with this. Because you can change one of his dice to seven, and then he, yeah, he is normally like 11 or 12 in result. So since I tested, tested this deck, and also in the whole tournament, I mean, we played eight rounds, I never lost the, the share dice smasher. And every time I resolved it, I, I won. So sometimes the opponent automatically quit it and scooped, and sometimes he tried, but he can't play through this. I mean, it's Azatov on drugs, basically. So.
uh, then one Cobra Grave, one Rhoda to search your good Phantom Knights and the Red Ice Fusion for the combo. This is, this is the only card in the deck which you don't want to see, uh, except those guys. But um, if you see this, yeah, you, you can't end Dragoon and you don't want to just fire this and end your turn if he has Ash. So, yeah, of course, I'd, I'd rather see those guys than, than the Red Ice Fusion. Yeah, but sometimes it is what it is, no? And for the few traps, the two fog blades. Um, one is for the combo essential, the other one you can search with sand boot. And the shadow brigandine, which is also essential for the combo. Then for the extra deck, there's of course the Astra Force, Targets Engineer and Smasher. As I said, if you have Astral Force, Smasher. As I said, if you have Astral Force, left. I didn't, haven't lost any game with Astral Force. So. Then one Lydia. Seems good, but never came up to be honest. Break Sword, insane. And you need it for the combo. Then Zeus for some rare cases. And the last succeed is because I hadn't had one flex box with Nightmare Shark. The links, the links are Artifact Dector. This one sets your Artifact Scythe. And one Bowser, one Link Spider for maybe Nibiru or something. Or for the Shadow Bri Brigandine. Bardish, of course. Cherubini, of course, essential. Apalooza came a couple times. Unicorn, really good card against. Quite some situations and I can't do it for And then for the last my side deck I played three Rubiru again strangling and yeah every combo combo deck uh, draw a lockbird against strangling and some yeah some other stuff but basically for strangling yeah, evenly match for cut off decks and heavy backrow decks and red reboot for backrow decks so those and harp is fat best for backrow decks those were for going second and this uh, the four cards for going first then you side out your dark ruler and anything else I would say for this one, but um, basically it's free dark ruler for three different dimension ground because it kills, yeah, quite a couple of decks like Dragon Link or Brankets or yeah, even Shadow involved. Yeah. yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Oops, um, I would quickly show you the the one card combo with tour guide. I mean the. To say first of all, yeah, you can start with mostly any two level freeze or with with the good PK. You can start with so many different situations. But um, uh, tour guide is uh, one combo. So to show you it quickly, you start with tour guide um, special the graph plus two goes into Cherubini. Then specially. This here. Then Cherubini's effects mills the good Phantom Knight, those two into Bardish, then Sia comes back to Cherubini, Bardish effects sets Brigandine and Cloak. Cloak at the way back. Then you can basically do this into the artifact doctor, activate the the cloak, another chain link. This one gets special cloak searching for silent boots. Then you activate his effect and discard any card from your hand. I mean you got four left, so it shouldn't be any problem. And you mill the four blades to your brain. Special um, then Doctor is triggering a second scythe from your deck. Your special the silent boots. Then level three and exceeds. 
into break swords with no effective bodies. Take those two guys into Anaconda, Anaconda Special Dragoon. Then you get a safe face down. Then you end your turn in the stem. By, oh, I, mean, I forgot you can banish Silent Boot for the another fog blade that you can set here. So you get fog blade and safe face down. In your opponent's standby phase, you activate fog blade to special the break sword in this zone of bodish, trigger bodish, shoot on your scythe, special scythe. And if he has anything, you can negate it with Dragoon to to make sure your scythe will resolve. Yeah, and you also got a fog blade, and next turn you will kill him definitely. So this is the, the standard one card combo. But you can do it with so many other starters like two little freeze or the PK or, or what else. <laughs> um, the only thing which could happen is super polymerization or droplets. I mean, but and when you have this, it's yeah, there's a very high chance that you will just resolve because it doesn't look too cyclone or something like because you got Dragoon and in the standby phase you can't get Dark Ruler. So yeah, it's basically very good, I would say, and very consistent, and it's a one card combo, so it's always good. So, yeah, I played against a couple of Dragonlings, against a couple of Shadow Invoked, against one Dino, against one Altergeist, and um, yeah, it was, as I said, really consistent. And the uh, only games I lost was one match where I did a, a quite a small misplay which cost me the whole match and and the other match which I lost it was also very tight and I think it was in, in time against some prank guy. Yeah, that's it.